Good evening, everyone. Sound the buzz was the BTK. Yes, call Kandrus back on the TV screen like every single day. Most of this first Nilam Chand, Ra. Nilam Chand. Nilam Chand, but even Orko koi bunun sir because we have a guest, right? So as a call Kandrus, we have some special guest bunun sir. So once like excuse me, I'm invited going to so yes, as a bunny, I'm here. So you know, pan di kisawa sama live hearing back with sir TV screen ma ra saath the Facebook base ma. So guys, call Kandrus pur like tapai li ali ham like. तत्कालीन के समय में लाइव है देखो उनसे होला इन केस ही रखने वाले के साइन हो बने तब आए लेट जस उनसे नहीं यू हैवन लाइक डाउन पेज कॉल कैंटीपुर यू कैन गाइस जस्ट लाइक इट और तब आए लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग पनी है ना सोखना उनसे सो एस ऑलवेज एवरी सिंगल इवनिंग वी कम अप विथ समथिंग न्यू फॉर यू especially I know so of Nepal my family beauty queens are like them in the Instagram Facebook of followers so my body could have done a press code I got okay because of one it so while I say more possibly into one that key not our regular beauty queen but it was a she's a stereotype breaker beauty queen one that has a for a part that is in Prakali while a out of benchmark said Gordon of I go so I know she is already an inspirational figure okay so this you know what that is I'll say like she's a game changer है ना इन बारंबार इस शो में बनी रहा कौन सा ये वाला ब्यूटी क्वीन बनी कुछ ऐसे ही है ना अब जाइए अपनी स्लीम है ना ये वाला वनों ना चाइनी वंदा बड़ी स्लीम फिटनेस वंदा पनी हेल्दी वंदा पनी एकदम स्लीम होने पर नहीं बनी वाला हम माइंडसेट बनाई सी बनाई कुछ नेपाली समाज में सब ऐलाई है ना बट वहाँ ने चुन तो ब्रेक गोनु बाग कुछ वाला गेम चेंजर बार आनु बाग कुछ है ना सो त्यो वाला जब माना जाए पर्सनली नहीं एकदम खुशी पनी लाए कुतियो है ना then anything could be yours. Bhani kura wale exam a set gor dinu boy kusa hai na. So arik kura especially when it comes to a woman hai na beauty standards aur ek dem hai abhi sa ke sudhe aur ek platform hai. Not just a beauty pageant ko platform to chhandi sa iska saath saath aur ek platform ma zay. Yota mahila boy sa ke boy si yota standard maintain gor diye kusa ke wahan ko zay appearance ko bishe ma bishes kari hai na. So tiyo kura le wahan le wrong proof got no boy because it's I not about uh, that typical standard that already has been there and then it them and great voice as of woman was this come yes they only for say so they might the other beauty queen boys are given on yay new person there are measurements as well okay I saw a human girl and nature new I know they could have the hero that I complain going to grounds and did it to some of some of the together but didn't you want your female girl a type as our take them change or they could have mine I just have a male command for Afne so I know Kalu Manse Bhaiya Bhani Bhaja Alkati Dominate Gharni and Lamro Keta Bhani Kuchai Guru Manse Matra Bhoke Tio Vada Bhani Amro Samaj Masa But yes, Aaj Alkati Changes Sangha Sangha Vahaan Ko Inspiration Story Vahaan Kale Kusari Unsani Yuh Platform Samaj Yaha Samaj Pugnu Bhaiya Tio Vada Maami Kura Kani Gharni Som Tisko Lai Jai Tapa Lain Mocha Kaul Kandil Pahandik Sabha Samaj Alta Let's Go For The Very First Opening Song For Gada Hami Vahaan Sangha Kura Kani Gharni Som So Jai Stay Tune To Kantipur TV all right, welcome back after that wonderful song. Here in the call, can't you find the top of some most of this first and Nilam Chand and and guys, we are back. So Agi Hamli Bora has say as a you Monday evening ma, we have somebody very special with us on the set of Call Kantipur. Only one ko hunu sa banda kiri. She is the newly crowned Miss Universe Nepal 2023. Jane Deepika Garrett, wahar swagat karo. So welcome to the show. Okay, thank you so much. So first of all, huge congratulations mm -hmm. for being our new Miss Universe Nepal 2023. Thank you. thank you so much. So how are you feeling first of all? I am feeling amazing. I feel um. very proud to represent my country mm -hmm. and I'm so grateful for all of my fans, mm -hmm. my friends, my mm -hmm. family for mm -hmm. supporting me and for being there for me during mm -hmm. this time. So yes. So Jane, uh, so it's been just two days, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, just uh, being 
crown new Miss Universe Nepal 2023. Mm -hmm. So do you remember exactly when did you realize that, yes, I need to be a part of a beauty passion? When did you realize your age or you just, I was in this grade and that day, if you remember that moment? So when I was like maybe 12 or 13 years uh -huh. old, I watched Miss Universe 2013 okay. with Olivia Culpo. Uh -huh. So um, she, she was the winner mm -hmm. at that time. And that really inspired me. I was like, I need to be in Miss mm -hmm. Universe. I want to be Miss Universe. Mm -hmm. And um, since I was a teenager, I got diagnosed with PCOS. Mm -hmm. So that's a hormonal disease. Yes. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, like I have struggled with my weight a mm -hmm. lot. Okay. And I gained the weight gain boy middle on even though I'm having a very healthy lifestyle, it's still like, you know, it's very difficult to lose weight, to maintain a really slim figure. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't bother me anymore. Mm -hmm. Like I love myself just the way I am. So I decided like recently that I wanted to be in this pageant. Uh, my friend Sophia, like she was the previous Miss Universe, mm -hmm. she really encouraged oh. me to get into this pageant. Uh -huh. I was very um, like doubting myself, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I cannot do it. You know, maybe like mm -hmm. I'm too fat. Maybe they mm -hmm. won't accept me as a winner. Maybe mm -hmm. the pageant is rigged. You know, this this little Ani Sophia was like, no, you should go for it. If this is your dream, go for it. Mm -hmm. And I was so mm -hmm. like happy that she encouraged me because I'm here today now. So right. yeah. so yes. Bob, first of all, I know I'll get the questions for Dakota Jade, Deepika, Gaye, Chain, right? So Bazu in Shamal Jade. Yes. Know. So uh, you name say by all the because like most of the people like all year talking about like confusion or like what's the name? Who? What's the real name? Are you like that so might be confused all the time. So actual name, but just other two extra letters, okay, <laughs> words. So, uh, <laughs> so please, uh, please say <laughs> out loud your audience. whole real name. Uh. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> my parents named me Jane, Deepika, Elizabeth, Bohora, Garrett. So I have five names in total. <laughs> That's on my passport, uh -huh. and so it's very unique. Uh -huh. I don't think anybody has five names, but mm -hmm. okay. yeah. But I, I go by Jane, yeah. or, or Jane Dipika. So, so you, you stayed in America? Yeah, I came stayed. Back. So I'll get the journey, but you want Okay, so when I was small, I mm. lived in America with my parents, and at the age of 11, I moved to Nepal. And mm. I grew up in Nepal since I was a child. I was born in Nepal and I was born in Nepal. I was in British school. Ma uh -huh. So I studied in a British school, so that's why my Nepali is not that fluent. Mm. Mm. But I started studying nursing school at Norway Hospital. Mm. And it really um, taught me a lot about this culture, mm. about patients, about health uh -huh. issues in Nepal. And that's also when I got diagnosed with PCOS and mm. so yeah that's so actually uh it's my journey so actually like, so, so, one boy like you studied nursing in Nepal yes I know like, some of my, like most of the youth are going abroad for yeah. nursing for yeah. studies yeah. so why you choose Nepal to study nursing well it was actually my parents decision they believed that it would be best for me to mm -hmm. stay in Nepal with them so at that time um I wanted to go abroad, mm -hmm. but then they kind of like made me like stay here with them and just be like, finish your degree uh -huh. and then go and live your life, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's, and actually it was a very good decision. Mm -hmm. I really am grateful for them to make me stay here. Thanks with to that. your father and mother there. Yeah, thank you <laughs> mom and dad <laughs> for making me stay here. So Jean, so. by profession, you're a nurse and a yes. business developer. Yes. And now you are our mm -hmm. beauty queen, Miss Universe about 2023. Yes. So to excel all in all these uh, aspects of your life, to which success mantra you abide by all the time? Success mantra. Yeah. Hmm. We must know that. <laughs> I think that's your finale question. What is the success for you? Right? Hmm. I really think that believing in myself was very important. Mm -hmm. I really struggled with self love, mm -hmm. accepting myself, and I really hated myself for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why am I like this? Why is my life like this? You know, very victim mentality, too, middle. And um, I really had to get out of that mud mm. i was mm. like stuck in this mud situation you know and i really had to push myself to get out of that mud mm. and i also had a lot of supportive people for mm. me so i really like forced myself like brainwashed myself uh -huh. to believe in myself mm. to love myself even if i didn't feel like it mm. and that has slowly it took time mm. it took a really long time for me but after a while like i started believing in myself and i was like you know what it doesn't matter anyone can say anything but I am who I am. I'm not going to change, mm -hmm. and I love myself. So that's my success mantra. Yeah. So Jane, as you uh, said that long. you were in very self-doubt uh, yeah. phase of mm -hmm. your life. Uh, 
So who helped you come out of this? Who is your biggest supporter of your life? If you have to take a name. Okay, well, I think my friend named Abi mm -hmm. was my biggest supporter. He was uh -huh. there with me in my hardest times. Mm -hmm. And he really, like, he stayed with me no matter what. Like, he did not leave me mm -hmm. even when I was, like, pushing him away or even when I was, like, really, really, like, horrible mm -hmm. in a horrible situation. He uh -huh. was still there mm -hmm. in my thick and thin. So that mm -hmm. is my biggest supporter, I think. Yeah. So but what was the reaction of your parents when you say, like, you're going for the Miss Universe? At the start, they thought it was a joke. They were like, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> they were like, uh -huh. oh, you think you can mm -hmm. win and everything? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to win. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I was like, watch me, I'll win. You know? mm -hmm. So a lot of them, like, at the start, they were like, oh, it's a joke. You think you can win Miss Universe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're fat, mm -hmm. you're big, you know? And I was like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's my heart mm -hmm. that matters, you mm -hmm. know? And I'm working on myself every day. And that's what matters. Yeah, so and now they are watching you live on a national television, yes. doing our new Miss Universe Nepal, yes. right, mm -hmm. Jane? Yes. That's why you're the role model for like lots of people out there, like who are watching us and who watch Miss Universe, because uh, there are lots of girls who are going like uh, with a mental issue yes. because of their weight, because of their body, yes. you know. So you came out very strongly. Yes. yes. So Jane, you have been a benchmark <coughs> for a lot. Of uh, young girls who are looking forward to mm -hmm. be a beauty queen just like you but they are also maybe in a self-doubt phase right now but uh, now they can think that oh yes if she can do it we can do it and I, now you are a very inspirational figure for a lot of young Nepali girls right so <coughs> now you being our new Miss Universe Nepal 2023 so how differently do you think you can represent Nepal in the upcoming Miss Universe in October so I have a plan to really mm -hmm. start a revolution. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to really start a revolution mm -hmm. for women and men around the world. Mm -hmm. I really believe in, um, like my message will be, believe in yourself, accept yourself, and go after what you want to go after. Mm -hmm. So that's my main message. Mm -hmm. And under those messages, like my advocacy will be mental health, body positivity, and hormonal mm -hmm. health. So those are all interconnected. So mm -hmm. I suffer with PCOS, mm -hmm. but with PCOS, we also suffer with a lot of mental health issues because of our hormone mm -hmm. problems. So that is all connected, you know? And I'm trying to advocate for that as well. Like even like anyone from any walk of life suffers from mental health mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. or, you know, accepting themselves, loving themselves. So that's my strong point here. Mm -hmm. And I think that I can connect to millions around the world with this message because everybody needs self-love. Everybody needs to accept true, themselves true. and mm -hmm. grow as a person. Mm -hmm. So that's my main message here, growth, self-growth, mm -hmm. self-love, you know, accepting yourself, being yourself. So I really think that will make an impact. Mm -hmm. And also me being curvy and me being confident and mm -hmm. my strong speaking skills, I think that I can definitely win Miss Universe and I will miss, win Miss Universe for Nepal. And you make us yes. proud. Yes, right? to that. So <laughs> what about like our Miss Universe team, uh, Miss yes. Universe Nepal team? Uh, like what do you help where you They are so supportive. Um, mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for the team. Sumi, Umesh, Nagmad, ma'am, uh -huh. and Udab, uh, sir. Like they're so mm -hmm. supportive and they're always like giving me advice and teaching mm -hmm. me. And I also have a lot of other people mm -hmm. there too in the team, but mm -hmm. yeah, so. They're very helpful and they're teaching me and we're working very hard now. So. What's the to the period, like training period uh, with Miss Nepal, Miss the Universe Training Nepal. period was about one month. Okay. So, yeah. so let's talk about yeah. the day one of mm. Miss Universe Nepal 2023. Yes. So when you were there for the audition and you were with other amazing mm. ladies out there. So right that moment, did you have any doubt? Oh, maybe I shouldn't be here. They are also good looking, amazing mm. girls, maybe. Uh, Maybe by the process, by the journey, I may be heartbroken if I mm. don't get the crown. So did you have that uh, sense of doubt first day of audition? Yes, I did have a lot of doubt, mm -hmm. actually. I thought that other girls would win because they're taller or slimmer. Mm -hmm. And I would always be like, oh, I'm fat. You know, I was trying to be on a diet uh -huh. and everything. But I really like told myself, like, as the journey was going mm -hmm. on and on, I was like, no, you're going to win. You're going to win. You, you are already the winner. Mm. I told myself that I kept saying that to myself and I kept <coughs> manifesting this and mm -hmm. I kept developing myself as a person and I literally grew so much within even just this one mm -hmm. month uh -huh. first like extreme self-doubt and then now I'm just like I'm the winner you know so yeah. it kind of like went from that to that in a span of one month mm -hmm. so if I can do it you definitely can do it that's my message right there so, so what is the best moment in that one month training period 
I think, um, so for me, the preliminary competition, mm -hmm. that is when I mm -hmm. really like started believing in myself. I was like, I'm the winner. Mm -hmm. Because for me, that was a very successful uh, competition. Like when I spoke with the judges, everybody was like, you are the best speaker. Like mm -hmm. you spoke so well. And mm -hmm. that really gave me confidence. And I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, I am the best speaker. I started really, truly believing mm -hmm. in myself. And that really pushed me to even work mm -hmm. harder and work harder. And then the grand finale night, I was like, I did it. Like I just... I aced it, so. So, yeah. w what are the changes in these two days? Like, do you think there's a lot of change? Like, everything, like your surrounding, after winning that crown, the changes are going to be like that. Changes? Well, definitely on social media, I'm having okay. a lot of changes. Um, I'm having, like, international following uh -huh. now, mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful for that. Like, uh -huh. I'm able to inspire a lot of people, and I'm so grateful that they're supporting me and that mm -hmm. they see me. Mm -hmm. And even Miss Universe and all the pageant pages, they're saying that I'm a very strong contender for mm -hmm. Miss Universe mm -hmm. Nepal. I mean, for Miss Universe. So um, that is like the changes now. Uh -huh. And everybody is like really supportive of me. So, so yeah, nice. even I was going through the comments on your post and mm -hmm. I was also seeing a lot of international support for you. So mm -hmm. I think our journey towards Miss Universe Crown is already set. Yes. <laughs> Even yes. I was getting that feeling, Jane, yes. right? Yes. So best mm -hmm. wishes with that because you have already making a mark, not inside the country, outside the country as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so as you are on the journey of advocacy for body positivity, so in Miss Universe uh, Nepal as well, we have a swimsuit round. Yeah. So for the swimsuit round, for the judging um, day, so when you girls have to wear the swimsuit and walk around in front of the judges, uh, were you a little bit of scared or in doubt because as you said earlier all the girls were so tall and so slim so did you uh, were a little bit nervous or scared for no. the swimsuit round no i love my body mm -hmm. and i love how curvy i am so mm -hmm. no i wasn't scared i am very confident on stage now mm -hmm. and i enjoy walking i actually enjoy walking and mm -hmm. ramp walking and i i really like that so I like doing that. So I just like want to ask, like uh, you said, like you were like uh, not confident with the body yeah. when you were like uh, in a younger time. Yeah. So what changed that? What makes you so confident? A lot of inner work. I had to do oh. a lot of inner healing, a lot of inner work. Mm -hmm. I had to really spend a lot of time with myself. How long it takes? It took me years, to be yeah. honest. Mm -hmm. It took me years. Uh, I had a lot of mental breakdowns, mm. a lot of, you know, crying, you know, all these things. It was very difficult for me, mm. especially during COVID. It was difficult mm. for everybody. Exactly. But um, that was like when I had to be alone, mm. you know, and it was just, it was very difficult. But I got through it. And also my friend, he was mm. there with me the mm -hmm. whole time, you know, and he was like, like, I see you, you're going to be better. You're going to be something one day. I see that in you. Mm. Don't give up. Like, don't quit. You know, don't just give up on life, Jane. Like, he kept telling me that. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm here now. And he's like, he's so proud of me. And I'm like, also very proud of myself and so happy. So, yeah. So, Jane, you're just 22, right? And yeah. you are our new Miss Universe Nepal. So, being in Nepal and being Nepali society, do you think our society is progressing or not? How do you take it? The perspective of society because as you know uh, now in Miss Universe Nepal as well, we have a swimsuit round and because still we are a Nepali community mm -hmm. so how do you th uh, think the community is progressing or not? I think that Nepal is trying to progress mm -hmm. but I also think that Nepal should hold on to its culture. Mm -hmm. I do think that um, flaunting our bodies for you know objectifying or whatever I don't really think that's the best thing to do you know like I, I do I really like Nepali culture mm. when we are secure when we cover ourselves when mm. we are you know decent mm. elegant I also do believe that we should be able to wear swimsuits mm. and I don't think that the swimsuit round was objectifying women mm. I think mm. that it was just showing that we are confident in our mm. bodies and we are fit and that we are healthy so I think that was important as well mm -hmm. but um, I do think Nepal is progressing uh -huh. They, especially in this pageant, they you know allowed a transgender woman, they allowed mm. married women, mm. they allowed curvy women. So I really like that about Nepal. They are really trying to have an open mind, mm. and so I'm very happy for that. Yeah. So you just talk about like you have had lots of changes in like social media okay. of your personal life. So that means social media were like a more often like negative comments only mm -hmm. So uh, have you got any or like that, does that make you feel like really low or like does that make you feel bad? Not at all. So I you, you got that comments right? A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. okay. um, a lot of people said, Hat Did you reply them? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I just tell myself, like, they're jealous. Uh -huh. I'm here. Where are they? That's what uh -huh. I tell myself. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm the one who's on the oh. TV right now. Where are they? What are they doing? Mm -hmm. So They're what if you have to say anything uh, through our national TV to all the trollers like because not specific like to everyone who troll like with the fake accounts you know like body shaming or raccoons or like there are lots of negativity in like social media in Nepal right so what do you want to say to them? I don't have anything to say to them. Uh -huh. it's, why should I even give them attention? Okay. Uh -huh. They don't deserve my attention so... Yeah I like fine. it uh -huh. because no, they, they do don't. deserve the attention. Uh -huh. They don't deserve right? a reply back. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm the one who's uh -huh. I'm, I'm the one who's here. I'm the one who won the crown, and Very I'm true. not being cocky or I'm not being like uh -huh. I'm just I'm confident in myself. Yeah. And if they want to put me down, that's their problem. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. how we should take it. Yes. And so. I used to get bullied a lot mm -hmm. as a child. Actually, I would get bullied a lot, and that has actually really trained me to accept rejection because mm -hmm. rejection is actually a blessing sometimes, mm -hmm. because real people will accept you, and you have to accept yourself. So uh, people who get true. bullied a yeah. lot in his school time, like, yeah. right? Yeah. So you are there. So guys, yesterday uh. we have with us our newly crowned mm. Miss Universe Nepal 2023, Jyoti Jane Deepika Garrett. And we're still in conversation with her, but it's time for our break. So you guys just be with us and be back because we have uh, many things to know about her and a small inside story as well. All right, welcome back after that. A commercial break here. Then so call Kanthi Prabhu. Let's hope a summer must this rest on Dinam Chand and the Miss Universe. Nepal 2023, Jane Deepika Garrett Nunza has a hamish song. So, my co Miss Universe ko journey ko vishe mat hamle to pre kura kani gari ho. And let's know her a little bit closer. I know. So, Jane as a kid costo runte. Jane as a early adult costo runte. So, kya kya changes aay sakhe kosa. Let's know everything regarding our new Miss Universe Nepal 2023, Jane Deepika Garrett. So Jane, how were you as a kid? As a kid, I was actually very extroverted. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I did have a lot of friends and I would, you know, always speak my mind, like just like I am right now. Mm -hmm. But I did go through a phase as a teenager mm -hmm. from about the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. I was very quiet, I was very insecure. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even speak, like I had extreme social anxiety. I couldn't even speak to anybody. Uh -huh. It was so bad where I would just sit alone at lunch and just be in the corner and just eat my food and cry mm -hmm. like that was like that every day for me almost and i really like went through a transformational journey and really worked on myself very hard uh -huh. to uh, you know mentally and emotionally spiritually even mm -hmm. physically so now like now i'm very confident now i can speak yes i'm also introverted as well uh -huh. but um i can speak and i'm confident and i love myself and so I'm happy with myself. So, so uh, yeah. you are going to represent Nepal? Yes. There won't be like a Deepika or anyone. There will be a Miss Universe Nepal yes. on that stage, yes. right? So how you are planning to represent Nepal in that international platform? So Nepal is my country. Nepal okay. is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, our culture, our tourism, mm -hmm. our, what we bring to the mm -hmm. table. This country has so many resources. And the way I'm going to represent Nepal is kind of like showing that Nepal has power, you know, mm -hmm. Nepal is powerful. It's not just a small mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. but through my voice, Nepal is a powerful country and we have so much to offer to this world. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to use this Nepal mm -hmm. platform to really mm -hmm. bring fame to Nepal. Like I also want to bring Nepal up as well, you know, mm -hmm. because um, it, Nepal has never won Miss Universe ever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this is going to be the first time it's going to happen. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are full confident about winning the Miss Universe? Yes. So all the best. Thank you. Hey. So Jane, after being crowned Miss Universe Nepal 2023, so what have you planned for your life? I know it's, uh, it's a very uh, uh, question for a question for a very yeah. short term because it's just been two days, but I, um, I know you have been manifesting a lot of things for your life. That's why you are here. You have been manifesting to be on this platform and to be a representative of our country. Yes. So being the new Miss Universe Nepal winner. So what are your plans for the future? Because as by profession, you are a nurse and you are into business mm. developing as well. So how have you planned your life? So I don't have a lot of plans right mm -hmm. now. I'm kind of just like taking one step at a time. But my plan is to be a businesswoman. My plan is to be a speaker, mm -hmm. uh -huh. like an inf inspirational speaker for people. And yeah, I think I want like multiple sources of income to kind of like travel the world to be very mm -hmm. um, financially stable. That's my plan. So, and I do want 
to have a family one day. Uh -huh. So uh, where you want to have that family in Nepal? Or like I'm not really sure yet. Yeah. <laughs> because I've already been here in Nepal oh. for 13 years. Mm -hmm. I want to explore other countries as well. Uh -huh. so, that's so maybe like uh, you can stay in Nepal and you can like motivate our young generation, upcoming generation for the, with the mental health, with the Miss Universe title, like why the peasantry is important. To be right? a voice for people, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. of course. Yes, for this, for this year yeah. I will be very, um, I will be doing a lot of workshops for mm. the youth mm. and for also like victims of mm -hmm. burn or human trafficking. So my plan is to give workshops, to mm -hmm. speak to them, to educate them about self-love, about body positivity mm -hmm. and mental health. Mm -hmm. So that is, yes, you are right. I, mm. that of course, I'm going to be here and inspiring people and helping them and yeah. So yeah, we're really looking forward for that. Thank you so much. So Jean, in Nepal, mm -hmm. we have other beauty platforms as mm -hmm. well, other beauty pageants happening as well. So why did you choose the Miss Universe platform? Well, I've always wanted to win Miss Universe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I chose Miss Universe Nepal. So. so what's so special regarding the Miss Universe platform? Because there are other platforms as well, Miss World, Miss Earth, Miss International, a lot of international pageants. Yeah. But what's so special regarding Miss Universe's platform? I really like the fact that Miss Universe is very diverse mm -hmm. and they are full on. It's more of like a leadership platform. It's not just about like beauty and mm -hmm. being slim. It's more about beauty with a brain and using this platform to make a difference. So that's why I really like Miss Universe. And so my plan is to make a difference. So uh, you're going for Miss Universe Nepal, yes. right? So you said you're ready for the title. Yes. So like, what's the difference in you like to our female contestant wonder like from the whole world? So what makes you different? What makes me different is I'm authentic. I'm myself mm -hmm. and I'm not afraid to be who I am. Mm -hmm. And I think that my story, I have a lot of ex experience from mm -hmm. life and that life experience can really help and influence and inspire others to mm -hmm. also change themselves and to be better mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for themselves. So. so talking about the training journey of Miss Universe Nepal this year, you girls went through one whole month's training. So a lot of things happening inside that one month, a lot of people to meet. So if you remember your one best moment and one not so best moment during the training, because I know it's very hard going through pageantry trainings. So if you, uh, if you have to mention one bestest moment and one not so good moment during the training. Okay, my bestest moment was the preliminary competition. So mm -hmm. that was to me a success for me. I felt like I really um, did a good job for that. And then I also like my other good moments was like meeting some of the girls. Like some of the girls were very close to me. I really uh -huh. cared about them and I really loved their heart and their authenticity and their like the way that they presented themselves. They were very kind and supportive even of me. They would always support me and be there. So that was very like best for me. Uh -huh. And my worst. That's a good moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So with that note, right, so I'm going to say about break. We'll go for the second uh, musical break and we'll be right back. All right. Welcome back after that. Last commercial break. Helen's a call. And we have a very less time. So Neelam will make a question prepared for our guest, Miss Universe Nepal. So guys, yes, as I said earlier, I know so much. All I can tell you, up close and personal, but you must know. So even could I ask a good thing? So I'm going to follow you on the way. I know I got day one of the training to being our new Miss Universe Nepal 2023. So, I think we social media, we have interviews with our other guys. Also, K extra, we're trying to know about mm -hmm. our new Miss Universe Nepal 2023, Jane Deepika Garrett. So, Jade, are you ready? Yes. So, I have a few um, questions prepared for you. This mm -hmm. is called this or that. Okay. And I'll be saying out two options. You have to choose one and you have to give reason why are you choosing that option. Okay. So the first one is, are you an early bird or night owl? I'm a night owl, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, um, mornings are hard for me. <laughs> yeah. But you studied nursing, right? So I you know, must have like early morning classes. How did you manage? I don't know. <laughs> OK, so let's talk about food. So dalbat masu or momo? Dalbat masu, for sure. Mm -hmm. I love dalbat, oh my gosh, uh -huh. yes. And um, Kathmandu or Washington, D.C.? <laughs> I guess Kathmandu since I've been here uh -huh. most of my life. So medical professional or a businesswoman? Businesswoman. Why? 
That's my passion. I love business. Mm -hmm. So, so I want, now you're that's gonna my follow goal. that. Yes. So what yeah. about nursing? I think that was a useful degree, mm -hmm. and I will definitely use that for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. But I don't really think that's for me. Mm -hmm. so. so movie in a theater or Netflix? Movie theaters. I love movie theaters because you can see the big screen and uh -huh. the sound and everything. And else. The so how often, yeah, the do you, uh, how often do you go to a theater? Oh my gosh, I go a lot actually with my friend Abi. Uh -huh. I go with him a lot. We watch, like that's our hobby. We watch movies like all the time. So I'm excited to see The Nun too. Uh -huh. I really want to see The Nun too. So. Okay, yeah. okay, so for our new Miss Universe Nepal 2023, is heels or sneakers? Mm, I have always been used to heels. Sorry, whoa. I've always been used to sneakers mm. actually. Uh -huh. like. Before Miss Universe Nepal, I never wore heels, like, ever. Really? Like, hardly. Only for parties. Like, uh -huh. only parties. Okay. And then, like, this is the longest I've ever worn <laughs> heels, like, six or seven hours a day. Mm -hmm. And now I actually like it. So I would actually say heels now. So. Heels now, okay. Yeah. So they're talking about the dresses. Sari or a skirt? I like saris. Uh -huh. I really like the design and how it fits in my mm -hmm. body. I love saris. Yeah. Do you know how okay. to drape a sari? Yeah. Really? Yeah, oh, that, that was quite amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, oh, no, I don't know how to read the salary. That was really lovely. So, yeah. okay, last question, like, uh, Ronaldo or Messi? <laughs> I love like Ronaldo. Yeah. None Paris okay. guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that note, uh, but at last time, I'm going to be able to hear back. all lots of girls are, like, watching you, and they are getting inspiration, like, a role model. So, what do you say to them? Okay. So, I would say to keep believing in yourself. I know it's hard to love yourself and accept yourself sometimes, but if I can do it, you can do it too. Keep going, it's a journey, it's a process, but just love yourself, accept yourself, because you are amazing just the way you are, and you are so beautiful, and I love you, and I really appreciate all of your support and well-wishing, so thank you. So yeah. Jane, one more time, huge congratulations for Thank being so our new Miss Universe Thank Nepal so 2023 and all the very best for Miss Universe. Thank you. Uh, and we know that you will be amazing on that Miss Universe platform. Thank you so much. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. So yes, yeah, Thank Thank you. You. So, we'll be back uh, tomorrow when the most of the stress are. Neelam Shan and our new Miss Universe Nepal Thank 2023, you. Jane Deepika Garrett. Shall Saying we do the bye -bye. beauty queen wave? <laughs>